Hi, in this video we'll talk about oddball angles in the AMC. In geometry we know how to work with 30, 45, and 60 degree angles because we have these convenient right triangles to refer to and we can work out any trig ratio of interest using these simple triangles as a guide. But in more difficult AMC questions we sometimes encounter angles of 15 degrees, 22 and a half degrees, 36 degrees, and sometimes 72 degrees. And it's helpful to have a few constructions to deal with these angles, so let's work those out in this video. Let's do the 15 degree angle first by extending the base of our 30, 60 degree right triangle out to form a 15 degree angle with the base. And we know that these angles, 15 plus this angle, have to add to 30, which makes this a 15 degree angle. And now this is an isosceles triangle, so the side length of 2 transfers to this segment length. And now we can quickly write out the tangent of 15 degrees as the opposite divided by the adjacent. We can rationalize the denominator in the usual way to find this is equal to 2 minus root 3, and that's approximately equal to 1 quarter. Now we can deal with the 22 and a half degree angle in the same way by extending the base of this triangle out to form a 22 and a half degree angle at the base. This angle plus this angle has to equal 45, which makes this a 22 and a half degree angle. This isosceles triangle now has a side length of root 2, which transfers to this line segment length. And now we can quickly write the tangent of 22 and a half degrees as the opposite divided by the adjacent. And we can rationalize that as well to find this is equal to root 2 minus 1, and that's approximately equal to 0 0.4. Now we typically work with the 36 degree and the 72 degree angle using a single isosceles triangle with 72 degrees at the base, 36 at the vertex, and the ratio we're most interested in is the ratio of the side length, we'll call that r, to the base length, we'll call that 1, and there's a quick way to find out what r is. And the way we find that is by creating an angle bisector to one of the base angles to create a 36, 36 angle, which makes this a 72 degree angle. So now we have a smaller, similar isosceles triangle inside of our larger isosceles triangle. So the base length of 1 transfers to this length, and since this is an isosceles triangle, this side length of 1 transfers to this segment length, and the balance segment length is r minus 1. And since the smaller triangle is similar to the larger triangle, we can write that the ratio of the smaller triangle base of r minus 1 is to its side length of 1 as the larger triangle's base of 1 is to its side length of r. Cross multiply in the usual way, which gives us a quadratic that's pretty easy to solve for r. We find that r is 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. And once we know r, it's pretty easy to calculate the cosine of 36 degrees by drawing a perpendicular bisector to the side length and finding the ratio of the adjacent to the hypotenuse. The adjacent is r divided by 2, the hypotenuse is 1, so the cosine of 36 is simply r divided by 2. And we can do the same trick to find the cosine of 72 degrees by drawing the perpendicular bisect to the base.
to find cosine of 72 degrees is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. The adjacent is, R to, is uh, 1 half. The hypotenuse is R. So cosine of 72 degrees is 1 divided by 2R. And these are the typical ratios of most interest to the AMC. Now with these four results, you're well equipped to handle the most common oddball angles in the AMC. Please check out the description section to try a few practice problems, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.